started producing ATC cards for a swap in my Facebook group to Old Crows Mixed Media. So for this swap, I have created two cards to share with my partner. One that is a mixed media collage and the other that is a quick and easy illustration. She will also be receiving a background, which the premise of the background is to produce your own card off of that background and then post in the group. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe. And of course, that notification bell lets you know when I upload content. I upload on Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, and we also upload on Tuesdays. Come on over to the Facebook group. Link is in the description. So to get started on these ATC cards, I'm using a watercolor paper and it is 140 pound cold pressed paper and I am just going to go ahead and um, create kind of a master board for my background on one sheet. So let's get that started and we'll go from there. So to begin this, I'm tearing a book page. This is an old art history book. I've been using it for quite some time and I'm just ripping some pages and I will glue them down just kind of randomly. So we'll get those glued down and allow that glue to dry. And I'm just using this Kraft uh, Elmer's glue. And I am putting the glue on kind of sparsely and kind of randomly because the purpose of that is to get the glue to dry and then to rip the paper off this background, leaving only that area that was glued down. So you can see here um, the glue didn't stick as well as I would have liked for it to. Um, if I did this over again, I would likely use my glitter glue. But for all intents and purposes, we are getting kind of what we're looking for. So I just want some text to be in the background. Yeah, let's see that last piece. I <clears throat> just didn't glue it down at all, so I'm just going to go ahead and rip it, shred it, and glue that down. And I'll take some of these other pieces and do the same. So that gives us kind of a, a background to start with. And I picked up this pattern at the thrift shop and I am going to go ahead and use Mod Podge to put this pattern paper over top the text that we laid down. And I make my own Mod Podge. I'll link the recipe up above. I'm just laying down a thin coat, putting that paper over. I'm not really being careful to avoid wrinkles. I think the more texture, the better. So I'm just kind of getting it laid down. And we'll allow that to dry and then trim around the outside edges. I'm going to real quick just kind of trim this down, go around the outside edge with some sandpaper to knock off any um, loose or leftover pattern paper. And then I'm just going to check it and make sure that everything is glued down well and just kind of re-adhere some glue where it's not. So now we have our background kind of together. So I'm going to take some Vaseline and use that as a resist. So I'm just smearing this Vaseline on with my finger. And again, I'm just doing this in random places. And that Vaseline will act as a resist to 
the paint that I'm going to lay down. And I have a cold gray here and I have watered it down. And I'm just using the um, gel press for my palette. But you can see where I lay that paint down. You can see where that Vaseline, it's starting to resist or move itself away from that Vaseline. So we have that down and now we'll let that dry. Just help it out just a little bit here with my heat gun. And as I hit it with the heat gun, I can see it moving away from the Vaseline once again. And now that that is dry, we'll just take a paper towel and wipe off any of the excess Vaseline to remove the Vaseline from, from the paper. And I'm just hitting it with a cut of Mod Podge just, you know, to kind of go over it and kind of seal everything, put everything into place and checking for any, any loose places around the edge. So I think we have our background pretty much put together. Now we'll just stick this into the trimmer and trim the ATC size two and a half by three and a half and get um, some backgrounds put together so we can see what we're going to create on this uh, cold gray and um, kind of vintage looking background. So there we go. Now there are our backgrounds all together. I'm just checking them once again to make sure that we don't have any loose pattern paper. I think what I'm going to do is create a focal point out of a paper bag. I think that paper bag will tie in nicely with this pattern paper and the book page behind that cold gray uh, background. So let's just get these all um, adhered properly and we'll set those aside and let them dry. We'll pull out a paper bag and get to work on deciding what we want to do for a focal point. And there, we have some pretty nice little backgrounds made. So let's set some stuff aside and pull out the two pieces of glass that we use. They're two picture frames that we use to create a dendritic print. And I think we shall just put a couple of dollops of paint down on that bottom piece of glass, pull that up to create those dendrites or that branching-like effect with the paint, and we'll lightly tap that uh, paper bag down on top of the paint and, and just bring that dendritic print. Now see, I pushed too hard there and you didn't get a nice print on that. So that's just kind of illustrates to tap lightly, you know, do this very um, soft, I guess would be the word that I'm looking for. And then when you get down to the end of the paint, you know, it does require a little harder rub, but when you, when you first start, you just want to very lightly touch your substrate down to the paint. And you will see that, that that pulled up quite a bit of paint anyway. So I'm just removing the excess paint onto my catch paper. We'll make something out of that a little bit later. So I'm going to fold that paper bag in half and just cut myself out a heart. And there I have a little heart that will fit nicely on my background. So let's just cut another one and we'll... We'll get a couple. So I think I'm going to use this size right here. I'm going to tear that heart in half and then we will mend that heart. So we have a broken heart on this vintage background. I'm going to take my craft pick and punch three holes on each side of the heart. And to mend that heart, I'm going to utilize a 26 gauge copper wire. So before we begin to mend, we'll just ink around the outside edge with some jet black ink. 
And I'm going to pull that uh, 26 gauge copper wire in and cut myself a nice strand of it. And we will just weave in one hole on one side and we will go through the other. This 26 gauge is very, very, very thin copper wire. So it's very easy to use without the risk of tearing that paper bag because that paper bag is thin as is 26 gauge copper wire. So there, we'll in one side, out the other, kind of like we're sewing it or mending this heart back together. Okay, so I think I have that there. We'll just cut off our excess, and you could cut this with a pair of scissors, it's so thin. And I'm just going to take my round nose pliers, start a little uh, turn, and then just create a little spiral with my, with my pliers. So I have a little spiral on each side. There. That will look nicely, but I think it needs something underneath it. It's, uh, you know, a little too too sparse. So I'm also going to thread some wire along the edge of the card. So I just took the crepidile and punched holes along the edge and I'm going to take a, a little thicker gauge wire. I think I'll, I'll go to a 20 gauge and um, thread through the holes on the side of the card. And I'm just messily threading it and when we get to the end, we will uh, tighten that so that it's not poking out. We'll ink around the outside edge. And again, I'm using the jet black. And I'm just going to grunge it up a little bit with that. And I want to lay something behind that heart. So I think I will grab some... Um, lace which i think it looks too structured so i'm looking for my cheesecloth and i have some coffee stained cheesecloth and that is what i'm going to use for the background on this and we'll fray the outside edges of that just by pulling those threads i'm going to glue that down Lay my heart on top of the cheesecloth. And there. <clears throat> and now I'm going to pull out the liquid pearls and uh, just give some little copper liquid pearls along the edge here. We'll do that on all four corners. and set that aside and let it dry. And now <clears throat> we have that one pretty much done. So we will start the background. And I am utilizing a um, two colors of ink. The tumbled glass is the blue. And I believe that is, uh, I wanna say tattered straw. So tattered straw and tumbled glass and it, and I like these two together because the blue and the the um, yellow kind of create a green when they mix together so it gives us three colors and I'm just punching some circles inside an additional piece of cardstock or a piece of cardstock that I have and I'm going to try to create that bouquet effect and I will link a video on how to do that that was another one of our technique Tuesdays and we're using moonlight white to just kind of create that blurred background or that um, out of focus background. It is a pho photographic effect. And you do that by, by um, just adding random, random circles. There, I think that looks nice. I think I will Pull in um, another couple of colors as well. 
I think I would like to do this in two blues. So I have broken china and faded denim. And I'm just going to do the same thing. Just blend that ink on the card. I'm going to get that ink good and dry, and then we will do the bouquet effect on top of this as well. Yep, and I picked up the yellow instead of the moonlight white. So we'll switch over. I kind of like that little yellow in there. There. I'm going to go back with the yellow. I, I like that. So I think we'll, we'll just give it a shot. See what it looks like. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm overly fond of that, but it was worth a shot, right? Maybe there's something else we can do with this one. I'll just go along the outside edge of that with a darker blue. And now I think I am going to turn a little music on because I'm going to draw my little lady on top of this background.
Finishes up the three ATC cards for this particular swap in two old crows mixed media. So this is the Take Heart card that was on the um, masterboard background that we created with uh, text and paint. This is the little woman that I drew, and we'll call her the Queen. And we shall shoot her off and see if my partner is happy with what they receive. So thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. And of course, that like button um, helps me dramatically. I have put a couple of videos here I think you will enjoy as well. So thanks for stopping by and bye.